Hey guys, it's me, JCP. So, I'm not wearing any makeup today because last night I put on nice makeup and spent the time because I thought I was going to have a bonfire. So I put on really nice makeup and then no one came. Yeah. So anyway, so I, I spent the past couple of days in search of one item and one item only. Now I'm going on a trip soon to Wisconsin Dells. I need a vacation. And uh, it has water parks. So I'll be doing some swimming. However, I bought a swimsuit last summer. Wore it once. Loved it. Lost it. So... Yeah. Anyway, I cleaned my entire room. And, uh, you mean minus the sock on the floor? And my drawers need to be closed? I have ADD. That's, that's all that's left to clean up. Oh, yeah, and that. Oh, my bed. I love stuff. Because I have ADD. That's my excuse. So I like to box things like this. Like random crap in a box. For example, all bottle caps, just because I might create something with them. Um, some mace that my dad got me that I have yet to use, but still in the package. So if anyone sprayed me, if anyone sprayed me, if anyone tried to attack me, I'd first have to open it. How do I get it open? I'm going to protect myself in a minute. And then somehow figure out how to spray it while reading the directions at the same time. Um, one earring that says under a spill just in case you need to be reminded mm. oh no it's melting ah. anyway my party in a bottle flask oh crap which I haven't used yet <laughs> because I'm an open drinker and I'm not an alcoholic and if I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink right in front of your face in a cup. Mm. Gum. More gum. I think I have another package of Big Red in here. A candy thermometer or just a food thermometer? Damn it. Mmm. Some cheap crap I got from eBay for earring holder. Yet yeah, I don't wear posts, so this did not help me. Some gauze from when I got my wisdom teeth removed last year. A strawberry cookie cutter from Strawberry Shortcake. Just found it for my wisdom teeth to clean the backs. I didn't use it. A pinky toe, a severed pinky toe with green nail polish. What movie is that from? Comment below. Mm. Band-aid for the people who um have the severed toe. And are still bleeding. Some candles. A uh, candle. Pong Master Ball. For soda pong. Mmm. -hmm. all in my hands. That's what she said. And, uh, model car of a Corvette. Black one. Will I make it? I didn't make it. I need a wet nap. Anyway, so I cleaned my entire room up, sort of. It's not completely finished yet. But the floor is clean, and I don't have to step on anything every two minutes and be like, Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm by the closet. By the way. I put those hooks up myself. I went to Dollar Tree and got hooks, and then I screwed them in so that all my purses have their own spot. 
And this right here is my outfit for when I leave for the Dallas. Because I like to prepare. In my closet. Oh, it looks like a dungeon from here. Let me turn on the light. Okay. Clean floor. This is, and I got a shoe rack that I made all by myself. I assembled it from Walmart. And then let me just here. Let me just unplug you and I'll show you the real deal. So this is my closet and I still have to vacuum it. But here are my clothes. All oh, my clothes. These are all my jackets and hoodies and sweaters and things like that. And my shirts. And my stuffed animals. Because I still have them. It's okay. I have some of the cool ones. Ever. I even have a Care Bear. Yeah. How many people have Care Bear? Or Lamb Chop. What? I even have the Pillsbury Doughboy. I stole them off of that Geico commercial. Not Geico. So I'm off a commercial. I have Bert and Ernie from my closet. And my very first stuffed animal is Gruffy. Yay! And my badass penguin over here who's a gangster. And then got all my hats. Which is, doesn't look like a lot, but this are all my hats. And then I got some more up top. And yeah, my cowboy hat and stuff. So anyway, I got my nail polish, candles nail stuff, baking stuff, cake stuff, and all my DVDs. <laughs> and if you can't tell, I've got a whole bunch of good DVDs and VHS. Because I have a VHS player. And then this is my second dresser. Yes, second. And my skateboard. And my clarinet. That's right. And then here is my other dresser, which you already saw. Because... I don't know how to close any drawers. Anyway, so back to my story. So I spent the whole entire couple of days. Let's see. Thursday of last week through today. Oh yeah, that feels better. Cleaning up my room. And uh feels great. So I went through all of my drawers and I organized all my clothes. And I got rid of a huge bag of donations. I got rid of like three garbage bags of stuff, of garbage. And then today, for some reason, I thought in my head, why don't I look through my sock drawer? Because I looked through my underwear drawer, but I didn't look through my sock drawer. And my socks, people, let me just show you my sock drawer. Come with me. Okay. So that's my underwear, don't look at that. These are all my socks. Oops, wrong way. Wait, what the hell am I doing? All of this are socks. My drawer wouldn't even close. And I still have some socks up here. Like, yeah, try closing that drawer now. <laughs> anyway, so I went through my sock drawer Right, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna find my bathing suit here. No, why would I put it there? Oh, and what do I find? My bathing suit. So, after about, let's say, three or four more days of looking for this damn bathing suit. I almost went out and bought a brand new one, but well, luckily I didn't do that, and uh, I found it. So now I'm packing it. It's coming with me on my trip. Feels so stupid. My hair looks crazy. Note to self: don't take a shower and don't dry your hair. Cause your hair gets all ratty. And yes, I'm gaining weight, people. Don't need a camera to tell me that. I'm gonna have red hair. Anyway, I also, since I'm talking about my hair and doing it at the same time, I wanted to discuss something with you. This looks awesome. It's like I'm about to fight somebody. Well, that's right up. I'll hit your ass. So, um, let me talk about my hair for two seconds. I use the Garnier Nutrice ones, um, and I dyed my hair. And the color like faded after like three washes with 
let me make a note, with the special shampoo and conditioner that's supposed to help protect your hair from losing its color, bull, bull, no. After three washes of using like, no, we won't let your hair dye fade, not at all. I touched my hair up in the first two weeks of dyeing my hair. I bought two more to cover up what the other one didn't and the roots that were coming through. So I was really, really, really pissed. I'm wasting my money. Yes, it's the cheaper brand, but it's cheap. Er. So they came out with a new Videl Sassoon one. And I love it. Love it. It is awesome. The dye doesn't stink as bad. And I know dye, it's like, you, if you want to dye your hair, you're going to have to deal with it. It's still a really powerful scent. Powerful. Really powerful scent. But it's not like, uh, uh, like suffocating for air like other ones I've used, which don't use those. Um, the Videl Sassoon one I used, it says that it's good for six to eight weeks. I've only touched my hair up once, and that's because I missed my roots right here. Like, it just wouldn't take the color. So this is the second time I've, I've touched up my hair, and I've washed it a couple times now love it and the other great thing about the Videl Sassoon one is is compared to the Garnier Nutrice one the Garnier Nutrice gives you this little tiny packet of conditioner does all this hair all of this thick hair look like it can just handle like this much conditioner no you're wrong I can't I won't I can't so I usually had to go and buy a second one just to put or add my conditioner in, which is crappy because it's not what you're supposed to do. So then with the Videl Sassoon one, they give you a tube and it's in my bathroom, otherwise I'd show it to you. Not that the bathroom's super far away, but I don't want to. I'm being lazy. What else is new? Anyway, it's this big tube. It's like this size. <laughs> That's what she said. It's like this size. It's like a tube full. And it's so much conditioner, like probably like the palm of my hand amount of conditioner. And you just have all, I mean, like I have all this hair, all of my hair gets covered. And I don't even have to brush it and my hair just feels like phenomenal. It feels like I'm a Disney princess and I can sing in the shower and my hair is just like la la la. Like it feels phenomenal. I would definitely recommend it. I love it. My hair is very, very red. Okay, um, I don't remember what the girl's name on Girl Code is, so if you guys could comment below. You know who I'm talking about, the really red-haired girl who talks somewhat like she's from the Midwest. Uh, I don't remember her name, but I love her. It's not that red. Like, I mean, I wish I could show it to you guys and you'd be able to see, like, in comparison. Because I don't have a lot of light in here. But anyway, um, my hair is super vibrant red it's still really pretty I love it I hope it doesn't go away I would continue dyeing my hair this color but um in this camera not only does my acne look worse than it is but so do my eyebrows they look blonde because they are anyway so excuse my no makeup face and uh you know you don't have to look at it Anyway, um, but if you're going to dye your hair, I would use the Videl Sassoon. I love it. And there's always coupons. I actually got mine. I think I bought mine at Walmart for, I think it was like 8 or $9, and there was a $4 coupon. Hello, I'd rather spend that good money, good old-fashioned money, on something that's going to work as compared to something that is just like, really? Like, I have to do it again. I don't want to touch it up, but uh, it is interesting to see like when my hair does actually come out my roots show and you just see blonde because people are like, I didn't really think you were real blonde, like weird seeing as how these are blonde and my eyelashes are blonde, but I guess you don't look that close at me. Anyway, so I will probably be making videos and posting them for Wisconsin Dells with my friend Carrie, which I'm so excited about, so excited because we need a vacation. And she and I are going to get into a lot of fun and a little bit of trouble. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way. Oh, wait, I already told you. <laughs> I found my bathing suit. 
God is just looking down at me and laughing. Or the fairies are hiding it. Or the angels are hiding it. I'm not really sure. Someone has a good sense of humor. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.